Hey guys, how's it going? It's today. Welcome back to another guide video. So today we are looking at the new Firebird Archon mode. Um, so in other words, essentially Blizzard has changed the Firebird's set bonus yet again to something else different. So instead of before where you just have to burn a, a mob for a certain amount of second and a certain amount of weapon damage and then you get that buff, right? Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, so now you'd actually have to burn mobs with three different types of skills. Three different three uh, three no this is sign language for three okay three different types of skills for it to actually give you that 300% weapon damage bonus or uh, damage bonus or whatever it is right um, so essentially in your normal form you'll have that you know buff I, I guess three thousand percent and then you when you enter in your archon form you have that you have three different sources of fire to actually get that bonus so which is interesting and cool but again keep this in mind in higher grade rift you might not want to use archon combustion uh, you might want to use archon uh, teleport which gives you not that 3000 percent weapon damage but it's for survivability anyways so we're gonna go into you know the whole spiel of uh, the stats priority and then uh, gears and all that stuff and i'll see you after this video. Alright, so welcome back. Um, so we're going to jump into stats priority first. Uh, so what we have is uh, the, our top priority is going to be cooldown reduction. Uh, the reason is because we want our Archon form to be up as much as possible, as soon as possible, uh, because that's where we're going to be doing the most damage. Even though we are going to be using the uh, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, um, it still requires a lot more cooldown reduction. So that's why cooldown reduction should be top priority on all all of your slots that you can roll it, okay? Uh, and then we have uh, uh, critical damage and critical chance and uh, plus fire damage or plus fire and arcane and I'll explain that later in the skills. Um, and then plus area uh, area damage and then the rest is just, you know, survivability stats if you can have them, okay? So usually I arrange all the gears and items really nicely but I guess I forgot to this time so we're just gonna keep continue on. Uh, we're gonna be using the six piece set of the Firebirds uh, finery right here so let's equip it all um, yeah usually I have it nicely lined up but oh well oh well oh well that's okay um, but there you go please forgive me anyway so for the two set piece bonus when you die a meteor falls from the sky and revives you this effect lasts a 60 seconds cooldown uh, so pretty much cheat death right there uh, the four set piece bonus itself this has been changed 
since before. Before, you just had to, like, burn a certain amount of, like, mobs, and then you get the bonus. Like, the 3,000% bonus. But they changed it because, you know, Blizzard. Uh, dealing fire damage with one of your skills causes the enemy to take 1,000 weapon damage as fire per 3 seconds. Uh, for, sorry, per second for 3 seconds. This effect can be repeated a second and third time by different skills. If an enemy is burning due to uh, three skill, uh, so it's three different skills simultaneously. The enemy will ignite, um, dealing three thousand percent weapon damage per second until they die. So you actually have to use three different type, three different fire skills to actually activate that three thousand percent damage on an enemy, uh, which is actually really easy for this build, and especially with our con in our our con form, uh, we actually pretty much do three different fire damage all simultaneously and it, that's why we want to have cooldown reduction as high as possible so we can be in an Archon mode and get this uh, second part of the, for the 4 piece set bonus up at all the time okay uh, number 6 set piece bonus your damage is increased by 120% and damage taken reduced by 3% for each enemy that is ignited this effect can last up to sorry stack up to 20 times you always receive the maximum bonus whenever a nearby elite uh, monster is ignited so pretty much survivability and increased damage on the 6 CP set bonus okay so next uh, one we're going to do is Chantoto's force right there and Chantoto's will uh, this is our weapon uh, so the two set piece bonus every second while in Archon form you expel a wave of destruction dealing 350% weapon damage to enemies within three yards. Every time you hit and hit with an attack while not in Archon form, 350% weapon damage is added to the wave of destruction stacking up to 25. Uh, so this wave of destruction is actually fire damage or you can make it fire damage by increasing your, um, uh, your plus uh, elemental damage. Uh, so that's why we have an extra uh, fire damage when we're in Archon form and we use the other skills and this three different skills all at once, which is really cool. Uh, next one is going to be the uh, endless walk right here, ring and amulet for while we're while we're moving we get increase in. Uh, uh, Sorry, damage reduction, and while we're standing still, we get increased in damage by 100%. Okay, so for our belt, we have that Fuzula's Improbable Chain. You automatically start with X amount of Archon stacks when uh, entering Archon form. So 40 to 50, I got middle, uh, the lower middle. Uh, the more Archon stack, the better, which means you do more damage. Cheerios! Okay, so for our bracers, we want the Ancient Parthen Defenders. Each stun enemies uh, within 25 yard reduces your damage taken by X amount. I got the lower end, 9 to 12%. So um, that's great right there. So well, you'll see why we want this right into our bracers. Uh, next is going to be the Halo of Aerolis right here. So your uh, your ice armor now reduces damage from melee attacks by X amount, so 50 to 60 percent. And I'm gonna cast uh, Frost Nova whenever you take 10 percent of your damage in uh, while well of your life in damage. Uh, so whenever we do 10 percent or more damage, we cast cast pretty much uh, Frost Nova, and it synergizes with with the Ancient Parthen Defenders here. So that means that you take reduced damage. Cheerios for those two synergizing with each other. That was my cat. What do you want, kitty? I'm busy. You go away. Okay, so now for our gems. Um, so for our main gems, usually we want the uh, Royal Topaz uh, to increase their damage and toughness. Um, so if you feel like you are dying a lot more, and you need more toughness, go with diamond gems on your sockets. If you don't, then the yellow gems are great. Orange, orange, yellow, that's up to you. Uh, for helm, it's always going to be the royal, the, um, the diamond gems for cooldown reduction. For weapon, always green gems, okay? Uh, so, uh, for our legendary gems, now, we'll always be using the Bane of the Trap and the Bane of the Stricken, so increased damage and increase in damage for the uh, Rift Guardian and uh, uh, bosses. Uh, last one is up to you. So, you can either use the Pain Enhancer, which causes you to gain uh, Blood Frenzy, uh, granting you 3% uh, increased attack speed for each bloody bleeding enemy within 20 yards so that you can 
pretty much deal a lot more damage faster in Archon form. Or you can use the Gokak of Swiftness, where it increases your attack speed and dodge by 1% for, uh, for 4 seconds, stacking up to 15 times, um, and gaining cooldown reduction. So the last one is really up to you and how you feel whichever legendary gem is best for you. So most of you are probably going to be choosing the Gokak of Swiftness. Mm. Okay, so for the Kanai Cube, uh, we want to use the Orb of Infinite Death. Each time you hit an enemy with Explosive Blast, your damage is increased by 5% and your damage reduction is increased by 15% for 6 seconds. This effects can stack up to 4 times, so that's easily always going to be max at 20% and always... Um, 60% for damage reduction. Even then, you still get hit really easily. Um, and then next is going to be the Swami. Uh, the bonus from your Archon stacks now lasts for 20 seconds after Archon expires. So cheerios to us. Last is going to be the Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Reduces the remaining cooldown of your skills by one second um, when you hit with a resource spending attack. Okay, so now for our Paragon levels. Now, you don't have to do what I do, but I like to maximize my Archon power, Arcane power, so that I have at least 148 or 150. So that way, whenever I'm doing um, this, my Arca Arcane spending t type of skill to reduce all the cooldowns, it's not always going to be at 100, where it's like it drains really, really fast, right? Uh, so that's up to you if you want to do that. Um, I would recommend it. So that way, you're not stuck in the middle of uh, doing nothing and just teleporting around running away at least at least uh, DPSing a little bit uh, next is going to be movement speed to max with your boots and rings if possible to 25% then everything else in intelligence or some in vitality if you need to um, if you have low 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 HP okay offensiveness is going to be cooldown reduction critical chance critical damage and then attack speed uh, defensiveness you have resist all armor life regen and life lastly is utility resource cost reduction area damage and life per hit gold find doesn't really matter all right so for skills um, this is gonna be interesting um, so let's uh, let's let's do our con first so you have two archons that you can choose from um, so what you've seen me do is archon with combustions where it changes all my archon ability into fire damage so that why that's the reason why things die super fast when I'm in archon mode because I have three different uh, type of skills doing fire so that gets that's why I get that 3,000 percent damage constantly right so when you switch into Archon with Combustion, an explosion erupts around you when you transform dealing x 3680% uh, de weapon damage as fire to all enemies within 15 yards, and Archon abilities deal fire damage instead of Arcane. So you, you should definitely use this, um, but if you feel the need to in higher grade rift where you need to uh, move around more, uh, then use teleports or Archon form now cast teleport within a two second cooldown. Uh, so that's why when I mentioned um, the the stats priority where elemental damage you need, can have fire or fire and Archon. Um, so you, could, you actually need the fire damage in one of your bracers and their arcane one in your necklace so that's why you can increase both of them at the same time but that choice is really up to you so I use combustion at a lower greater rift which is perfectly fine when you go higher you might need to go teleport okay Okay, so next one is going to be with our uh, magic weapon right here with Ignite. So imbuing your uh, your weapon with magical energy. Ooh, nice. Granting it 10% increased damage last 10 minutes. Attacks have a chance to burn enemies, dealing 3, 000, 300 weapon damage as fire over 3 seconds. Requires a weapon. <laughs> and the next is going to be Arcane Torrent with Flame Ward. Uh, so hurls a barrage of fury projectiles that deal 400% weapon damage as fire to all enemies near the impact location. And then Arcane Torrent damage is increased by 305% weapon damage every second, up to a maximum total of uh, 1,010 weapon damage as fire. So when you keep channeling, you'll get that amount as, as it increases, right? Uh, you, uh, you take 15% less damage from attacks while channeling. Every second you channel increases this amount by 5%, up to a total uh, maximum of 25% damage reduction. So that is that, that gives you damage and uh, damage reduction. 
Um, okay, so the next ones are gonna be pretty much utility wise and uh, pretty much utility wise, right? Uh, ice armor with crystallization, crystallized. Sorry, so this will pretty much synergize with the halo of airless. Uh, surround yourself with a barrage of ice. Blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, last ten minutes when you are struck by melee attack, your armor is increased by twenty percent for thirty seconds. This affects stacks up to thirty times. So there you go. Uh, teleport safe passage. So I use safe passage because then more survivability. That's that's up to you if you want to choose other ones like uh, Calamity or Wormhole if you want to do that instead uh, but I prefer Safe Passage so I get more survivability and then Explosive Blast just to apply a different a different fire effect and also because of our orbs of infinite death so that way that's why we have Explosive Blast right there Okay, so on to our passive skills. We have Audacity right here. You deal 30% additional damage to enemies within 15 yards. Cheerios. Uh, unstable Anomaly is a cheat death. Okay. Evocation, reduce all cooldown by 20%. And then Power Hungry. You deal 30% damage to enemies further than uh, 30 yards, which, you know what? You will have enemies that are further than, than 30 yards. So, no problems right there. So, that is our passive. Uh, so for our followers, we're going to be using the Templar for more survivability. Um, so we have his Immortal Relic here, so it doesn't die, of course. And then we have Thunder Furies, which will decrease their attack speed by 30% for 3 seconds uh, if it procs. And it jumps up to 5 targets. Uh, to synergize with that, we have the Wayward right here. Uh, lightning damage has a t uh, X amount chance to stun for 1.5 seconds. And then we have the Oculus Ring, so that it creates a little pool of area where it increases damage if you are in it with the mobs and then we have the S of Johan here to pull everything together uh, so for the skills we have heal uh, loyalty charge and then inspire to increase our uh, arcane power regeneration if you don't want that you can always use guardian for an extra life okay and that's it for the uh, for our follower okay so how to play this is pretty a little easy all you do is buff your stats fire 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 Archon, oh, I died. I just died. Archon form, and things just, things just die. You just kind of smack it, and it just, it just dies. That's, 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 that's pretty much it. That's, that's it, right? Use, yeah, use your potion sometimes. It's, it's just, things just die. Uh, watch out for your Archon form when it actually expires right now. So when it does, be, be on the defense and just teleport when you need to. Yep, and then until your Archon form is back to normal, as in like it's up again, just keep keep your distance. Keep your distance. There you go. And that's that's it. That's how you pretty much play this uh, this build itself. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, a thumbs up would definitely be appreciated. And if you have questions or comments, I'm probably probably playing this game this one wrong, but whatever. Um, Leave them down below. And don't forget to press subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Love ya. Mwah.